Every day in life, we're looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When we think about those we love, we are always planning for what's going to happen from us, not necessarily from God above, but from the things in life that we plan to do. We make these plans and then someone comes along and sort of changes our life. I had a plan to stay forever with my late Japanese spouse and that didn't exactly happen in life. But I met some pretty marvelous people after that and every day they've been in my heart, my mind and my soul. Every moment of time is not necessarily focused on them, but I definitely think about it when I'm planning my time. Every day I know what's right for me, every day I know what's right for them is not true, but every day I know that I love them and that's what matters to you. Every day we have this opportunity to be all we can be. Every day we have to make the most of the time you see. Every day we know what's going to happen in life is not true, but every day we know that we're going to have to at least take a poo. And I can make these silly rhymes just to make you laugh in time, but the reality is in life we must make a life. When we go to make a life, we plan out who we want to have in our life. We selectively choose the one we want for our wife, our spouse, our significant other, or the person that we just have some playtime with. The truth is that every person wants to play because it's a part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs even today. And while they have been a lot more selective in how they talk about that in the current online articles, it really boils down to the simplest of things. We all need to eat, we all need to sleep, we all need to defecate, we all need to have a little sex, and we all need to self-actualize. And self-actualization is what people are really about. You see, when I'm planning my life, and I'm not planning your life, I'm planning my life. And as I plan my life, I don't expect people to constantly be interfering with my life. And yet that seems to happen to me. Is it happening to me because they're marvelously jealous of me, because I have this marvelous mind and they want to steal everything from me all the time? Or is it happening to me because they haven't planned their own life, they don't know what else to do with their own life, and they're becoming a slave to someone else's life, and then they create all these drama queen scenes like I experienced late, earlier this afternoon, and I was like going, what the hell is going on here? I don't get this at all. But the truth is, in life we have moments of time to prove who we are in every moment of time. And we can either walk into that moment of time presuming and assuming and doing things that make us look like an ass. And when I lived in the countryside and I worked as a manufacturing interpreter in the Japanese language, I had to learn a hell of a lot of language that I didn't know before. But what we used to say is the word assume makes an ass out of you and me. The country folk of, of India and other states have some marvelous sayings. And there's another one that I like that you say, but I won't share it today. What I'm talking about is the reality of every day. And every day I love someone, every day I hope for someone, every day I long for someone, every day I feel that person, and every day I have the right to love them. No one can tell me who I'm going to love, and every day I'll be the first person to tell you, don't you fucking tell me or anyone else who I can love.